Yeah, okay, mate. Uh, a little bit late on this. Um, yeah, I have to keep the muscles happy too. Uh, so, yeah, Mav, Mav's definitely an interesting one. Uh, I don't see too much change other than the fact that, of course, it would be nice to buy down here. I mean, you would think at this point, of, of course, the low is in. So if the low is in, then uh, it kind of it gives us a narrower range, you know, somewhere that, well, the buy point is somewhere in this in this area here when we fill this wick probably on a new week but it does look good it does look strong uh yes there's you know the, the slight bearishness below that but i think we've already had the bearishness that's a um uh not guess i'll just measure it yeah it's a 40 percent drop so a nice a nice green volume here would uh could start the next uptick or or you know it it, it could uh it could get that momentum going again uh, so overall, it does look good. I mean, I, I do think that the buy is somewhere here, right? Uh, prob probably here. Uh, I, I'm trying to narrow it down a little bit. Like, at this point, I'm kind of starting to think that the bottom of the wick will not get filled yet. Um, that, that it can be too strong and can run higher. That's a weekly wick. I mean, we did talk about it earlier in the week uh, that, you know, it was already green up here. You know, the, it was already halfway up the screen candle here. And we talked about how it probably needs a red uh, nine, sorry, a red two week candle. And, and that's exactly what we got and we got that dump. It's a shame obviously we didn't get to buy in here. I'm not sure if we talked about the, the red two week candle before the dump or after that dump, uh, I forget now. But again, there looks like there, there's a good opportunity to fill some of this wick down here. It doesn't have to fill too much of it. Uh, the other, you know, the, the one way to do it is obviously you know if we get any sort of wick down here at all like you know something like that and pop up and flip green that would be a buy on the two-week candle we have a new two-week candle you would imagine that there there should be some sort of fillage of that wick um new two weeks can can flip markets on its head uh you know obviously depend on the situation but it, they definitely can this is a a large outside bar um you know that it, it has created a range now which is it's on it's just kind of unfortunate i mean it's you know it it makes stop losses wider it makes it difficult to get entries it makes it uh you know it makes it more tricky but ultimately we are in a range now i would suggest that we're coming down here 50 percent of this wick roughly uh, 38 to 50 percent of the wick down here you know you can throw a fib on that or, or you can eyeball it you know 38 to 50 percent in here um and then we start making our way back up into the top of the range taking fill in this wick and if it remains strong then obviously we can uh break out to the upside uh whatever way that that, that happens i would suggest that that is what's going to happen uh liquidity below before taking liquidity by high, high and then 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 running the highs this is a bearish two-week stop on so we do need to take that seriously as well i mean the the bearish two-week stop on has already give effect it's already dumped the price almost 40 percent probably 35 percent from the stop on level you know so in, a, in an uptrend quite often you only get one maybe two red candles and then you're you're away again for the next eight eight candles in a row back to the upside right it's very very possible so uh we've had one large red candle here at this point and um it is a bearish engulfing candle here on the on the volume uh, so you know it would be nice to see that bit of dip down uh, we could um, where is this yeah um, if we uh, if we just throw a very quick fib on it uh, we could mark out the range where is that thing I didn't, uh, I didn't draw it fully accurately there I was just trying to get it as best as possible not that it'll matter too much, but just as a... Sorry, I must be half sleeping still. Um, let me uh, delete this. Uh, um, yeah, I was more worried about the line than actually putting the bloody thing on, right? Uh, just trying to get it yeah, fairly accurate at least. Uh, you know, but I think this is a big level. Right, right in here, and I suppose that is if we can, if we can measure that out just for a clearer uh, idea of where that level is. Now, obviously, it doesn't have to be perfect in that, but I do think it's a big level to be watching. Can it go lower? Of course, because this wick is huge, but um, 
but yeah, I, I just think that this level here, uh, 56, we'll call it 57 and down to 55, uh, is a huge level. If we can fill that, uh, you know, I think that's a fantastic buying opportunity. The very frustrating thing would be if, if you don't really get any wick at all, uh, that, that makes it difficult and sometimes in very strong markets that'll happen. Uh, this is this is the ideal place to be buying, I would suggest, uh, because of the, because of the bearish volume, because of the large wick, because of the uh, the liquidity below in this wick, um, you know. So sometimes, uh, sometimes in, in very tricky situations, very extremely strong situations, it'll open up and just run. Uh, so if we do get the small dip down and flip up and flip green, I suppose we can assess it to see. You know to see if it's worth taking that trade and it might be worth taking that trade um, it really depends how we open up on a new week and it depends on Bitcoin but the ideal place to be buying is that 55 uh, well 55 day 57 area you know when I look at this nine week uh, candle uh, it look oh, sorry that's a month uh, yeah yeah uh, nine week uh, it looks like this has a good potential to actually pop up and flip green and continue running um, now, if I show you, uh, and I'm raging WLD, I uh, I was uh, thinking that this was going to happen because this is a this is you know they're strengthened to this bar, they're strengthened the entire way up, and this dip down, you know, I was going to suggest as a buy. Look where it came into into here, um, and even even down in, in this wick, but it it happened really quick. Look at this. So this flipped up and flipped green. This was one of those red candles that we were just looking at a minute ago. Uh, this had a large red body here and then the wick below it just like Mav has and if I if I get into the daily like it just happened quicker than expected um, it had this one move down and all of a sudden it was it pumped right back up here and then it, then when it was up here it was like ah, damn yeah yeah now it becomes difficult um, the 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 thing is it, yesterday it did actually give a fantastic buy because that was a bullish stop hunt a bullish stop on back in to fill this bullish candle here after the the move up on that nine week chart um, like you can see here look at this bullish stop point right here that moved up and then the next day give continuation that's the same thing happened here time and time again that how it can happen in a, in a bullish environment so uh, what I'm saying is we also do need to be looking out for situations like this in Mav if it does start to build that structure and, and you get those bullish daily stop points like here or like here uh, even if you miss the stop on day, you got to remember that there there may be another opportunity on a new day. Look at that; there was no wick whatsoever because liquidity was grabbed down here. This was the fill of liquidity. It didn't need to come down here to take liquidity. The move is already uh, on on the up. The problem with these uh, large candles is it can be frustrating, and you can get sideways chop. Now I do like to see some sort of dip in this sideways chop, even to here. Right, even down to test these lows somewhere there, even there. Um, I should have checked where that exactly was. Um, look at look at the situation here. This is actually really good as well. Look, you, you get the few candles, but you get you get the the stop point here. If we manage to see any sort of stop point, even above, even below um, this level here. See, see, even that level. Even if there's a stop point above that, that's probably a long, and and of course, uh, you know. It's definitely along if we stop on these lows here. So there are two big levels to be watching. Now, if we if we actually just throw that fib on it again, just to kind of assess, um, I'm trying to get it half right here, uh, just to try and assess, do them do them levels line up with our Fibonacci, and uh, and you can see well the bottom one does actually line up with a 38 percent. Not perfect, but uh, you know uh, so obviously if you, if you do dip down below that. Uh, let, let, let's move back into this daily so obviously if it does dip down somewhere below there right and stop onto all of this range that's an amazing buying opportunity I think because this could then go higher that would also be supported by the white 100 moving average it would be piercing the, the Fibonacci levels piercing into the Fibonacci levels we talked about it would also be creating a deviation or a bullish bullish deviation below the move up like look here for example we had a range and there was a bullish deviation below the range before the move up. Look here, there was a bullish deviation before the move up. Look here, there was a bullish stop on deviation before the move up. Look, mm, there was a double bottom there, we didn't get the deviation, but this one had a deviation. We deviated and stop on below this low before the move up. Even the green one stop on there before the move up.
we could probably keep going like there's a look at this range there was a stop point right here in this range before the move up uh, this was a stop point of all of these candles before uh, it, came, it moved up again um, this actually is a deviation below this first low which then in turn created the bull bullish engulfing that moved back up this also is some sort of stop point uh, right below all of these candles that work down before that move up um, so uh, these stop point deviations have been very prominent and, and happening over and over and over again if we get one here uh, it looks ripe for the taking.